welcome to my channel. My name's Danielle Warren and I'm so glad that you're here. Today is a super fun video where I'm gonna show you everything that's in my park bag for a day at Disney World. This park bag is packed for a trip in early summer, so there are some things for the heat and things like that, but generally my park bag is the same no matter when I go to a theme park in any season. So this is pretty versatile no matter what time of year that you're going to the parks. Okay, I have everything laid out here on my bed to show you exactly what I have in my park bag what I'm taking, what my essentials are, and I'm actually gonna show you my favorite park bag. I've shown this so many times and I've tried other bags. This is has always been my favorite and my go-to. I always go back to this one even when I try to use something else. However, I am gonna show you another bag that I love, 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 love. I just got it, it's adorable. Not as functional and versatile as this bag is, but like so stinking cute, perfect for Disney fans. And if you love pin trading, I mean, it's adorable. It's like the cutest pin, pin trading bag. Um, so I'll show you that at the end, but let me go through what I have here. And I'm, like I said, I'm gonna try to go back and forth between the other bag and see how I feel about it. But this one I'm not as worried about ruining cause it's not, wasn't nearly as expensive. And it's also a water resistant. So I'll tell you why I love this one. I did put a pin on it, so that's nice. You can just like put some of your, like, you know, if you have a celebration or something, you put, put your pin on there. Um, it is water resistant. It has a ton of pockets. So usually I'll put my cell phone in one, my batteries and chargers and wires in another one. A water bottle will fit over here on this side. My sunglasses will fit over here on this side. On the inside, if I do have any sort of gift card, uh, I usually bring a Disney gift card just so I'm not putting it on. You can use your magic, magic band if you're staying at a Disney hotel, but I just like having a gift card and not having to deal with, you know, closing out at the hotel. So I just do it that way. But also I'll put like my Disney Visa card in here, any cash, pills, stuff like that. Um, in the big pocket, it's actually very roomy. It will fit a lot of stuff, but you wanna be careful so you're not like killing your back and your shoulder. I can fit all my, a ton of stuff in here. I've even like taken off a layer of clothing and put it in here with all my stuff and it works just fine. You can, you know, leave it open a little bit. You can wear it as a crossbody or a regular purse. It's really easy to grab things when you need them while you're walking. And then there's a pocket back here and a lot of times I'll put extra napkins, brochures or maps in this back pocket. Okay, so that is my park bag. It's Bagolini. Um, I will link it below. I don't know if they have this exact version on Amazon, but it's very, very similar. I have used this at so many parks. It's been durable. I, I've worn it through the rain and you know, it'll get wet and stuff like that, but it's protected my stuff that was on the inside. It's, it's been a great bag. I, I really can't say enough about it. Um, I'll link that below. Okay, another thing I always bring is a bottle of water. Now you can get free water in the parks, but I don't always wanna stand in line to ask for a, a cup of water. And I, like, I just like having some with me and then I can always refill it when I get the chance. I always bring like extra, extra water for my room. Like I'll get it at the grocery store or I'll get bottles of water or something like that so that I have a lot of uh, water in my room as well. Okay. First thing, you cannot, basically cannot do a Disney park without a cell phone. <laughs> um, you have to have a cell phone for checking wait times, your map, finding the restroom, finding your dining location, doing mobile order if you have Genie Plus. So I ha always bring a phone with me, obviously. This little pouch, uh, I put all of this stuff in there. So I'll walk you through what I put in there, but it's just like a clear pouch. I prefer clear because then you can see everything. It's easy to find stuff and you're not digging through a cosmetic bag trying to find your stuff. But I like to have it all in one spot so my bag's not crazy unorganized. So let me walk through what I have in this pouch. I have some pain reliever because you know when you're carrying stuff and you're walking all day if you have any neck or back pain headaches whatever it's nice to have 
some pain medication. I have a pack of tissues. This is a uh, pressed powder with a mirror in it. Um, I, you don't have to do that, but when you, if you go on water rides or you're sweaty and you feel like your eye makeup's running and you don't wanna go to the bathroom, I just like having a mirror and then I also like to have powder to touch up during the day. These are beauty blotter oil absorbing tissues. I have oily skin and I like having these with me and they don't weigh a lot so it's not a big deal. Hand cream, like a little travel size hand cream. Hand sanitizer. This is an SPF lip balm. I have a little tiny purse size lip gloss, a little tiny travel size mascara, a travel size deodorant. If you're coming in the summer especially, it just gets really sticky and you don't wanna have like, you know, sticky chafing underarms. Like it's just not fun. So I am bringing this so that if I need it uh, in the middle of the day, I'll have that. Of course, I do have my magic band a pen. Uh, this is a deep relief muscle reliever. I have a lot of um, shoulder and neck issues and so this just kind of gives a little bit of relief. It's not fun to be in pain when you're trying to you know have fun with your friends or your family. Some sort of hair tie. A couple of my sweetener packets. Some hand towelettes. So I do have a hand sanitizer. Sometimes you just want to be able to actually wipe stuff off of your hands or something. So I have a couple of those. Um, some gum. These are some uh, lozenges. They're immune support lozenges, but I just have a couple of those in here. A Band-Aid. And that's it for this pouch. So all of that stuff is going to go in this pouch. Over here are a few extra things. I'm here in May, and so this time of year, you definitely want to make sure you're bringing something for the rain, but I always, almost always have a poncho with me, at least a poncho. It has been rainy the past couple of days here in Orlando, so and I looked at the weather ahead of time, so I knew that I was going to need a travel umbrella. I cannot tell you how handy this has been for me. It's lightweight, and it's um, super small, like super compact just sticks in my park bag. I love having a travel umbrella. And like I said, whatever I can link below, I will link below. This is just a poncho from the Dollar Tree. You can also get them at Walmart in the outdoors section. I have a little snack. I usually will bring a few snacks. I have an extra battery and an extra memory card for my camera. I do film a lot when I'm in the park, so I wanna make sure that I have that. An external charger, and then you have to make sure you have the wire that connects to this, but I have my phone charger still plugged in right now, but I will get the wire for this and make sure that I have it there. I use this pretty much every day when I'm in the park at some point. My phone runs out of battery. I generally need two charges to get through a day. So I, I highly recommend having some kind of external charger for your phone. You can buy them here at the park. Um, they're not as cheap, but you can definitely do that. And then you can switch them out at different stations if you need a new one with a new charge on it. Uh, these are my sunglasses. So I have a little, it's a lightweight sunglass case, but it's not those little fabric ones. So it prevents my sunglasses from getting crushed, which I love. So I love these kind of cases because they, um, they keep it protected, but they're not those heavy hard cases. Um, I have a couple of, of single bills. I'm checking into a hotel today and I like to have something handy to give to Bell Services or you know if I need to tip or something. So just a few dollars for that. Everything else I have a gift card and my Disney Visa card. Look at this new uh, gift card. It's like huge. You can't stick it in a normal wallet though. That's the only thing but it's literally a souvenir in, it, in and of itself. Um, so I have all of my like my budget for my vacation on a gift card. Also, I have my visa in case I need it. There are some restaurants, and if you go to the Chase Disney Visa website, you can actually see a list of different restaurants and stores where you can get discounts for using your Disney Visa card. There's also several photo ops. There's a photo op in Hollywood Studios, and I believe there's still a photo op in Epcot where if you have a Chase Disney Visa card, you can get pictures with characters. It's really cool, but you have to have your card with you. And then I also have under here, I didn't wanna show my driver's license, but I also have my ID. If you go to any like bars, like if you go to Oga's Cantina or things like that, they are 
they may card you. Now, I don't get carded as much anymore. Sad day. But um, I did at Oga's Cantina. So I just want to make sure, you know, if you're going to go and you might want to get a drink somewhere, you're going to want to have your driver's license or some sort of form of ID as well. Uh, one more thing that I have in my bag is one of these cooling towels. And I will link these. I have an Amazon link for these. But they're just those neck towels that you wet and wear around your neck to keep you cool in the hot, humid Florida weather. It's gonna be in the 90s this week, so I thought this would be definitely be something that might be a must for me this week. Um, over here, I have my breakfast, lunch, and dinner supplements, and I'll just keep that in my bag as well. And then I have one, I have a pin. I had a couple other ones, but I did some pin trading. These are like my extra pill bags that I, I usually just re repurpose them and use them for other things. Uh, but this is a pin, I, I'm doing some pin trading, so I had some pins in a baggie so that I could pin trade. So that is what's in my park bag, and I'll go ahead and pack it up and show you how it all fits. I'm not gonna take my poncho and my umbrella today because there is no chance of rain. You may want to take a poncho on days where you're going to be wa riding water rides. If you don't want to get wet, that's just your preference. My bag is all packed. The only thing that I need to put in it is my camera. And it's not super, super heavy. The water makes it the most heavy. And I kind of drink that throughout the day and then it's not as heavy. Like I said, I love having these little zipper bags because it just keeps all the stuff from moving around in there. It's a lot more organized. And then with all the pockets and everything, everything has a place. It's easier to find things, harder to lose stuff. There's my park bag. Okay, this is the bag I wanted to show you that I got as my alternative park bag. I got this on Amazon. It came with one pin. So this castle pin is what it came with. And then I just filled it with other pins. It's a great pin trading bag. It's got this little cover on it so you can see the pins, but they're not gonna fall out, which is awesome. There's not as much space inside. It's not nearly as huge as as my other park bag that I normally take, but it's a good amount of space. Like if you're not bringing like a, a camera like I do and you know, a lot of other stuff, it, it actually does fit a good amount of stuff. I can fit the clear bag, my sunglasses, my phone, a bottle of water, and maybe a few other little things in here, but there's only, there's a this pocket right here and then the main compartment and then the pin section. But it's the most darling little lounge fly bag. I really love it. And then you can wear it crossbody or you can wear it as a backpack. I have the straps detached right now. But I love this bag. I get so many compliments on it. I wear it a lot of times when I'm taking my kids places and I wanna have my hands free like to the park or to a birthday party or whatever. But it is a super, super cute bag. So I wanted to show that and I'll link it below. Um, I do have a link for this. I, I love it, it's so adorable and a fun little way to showcase your pins so you feel like you're actually like getting some use out of them, right? And getting to enjoy your pins rather than just sticking them in a book or on a, on a lanyard. So it makes it fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today to see what's in my park bag. I hope this was helpful as you are planning your next trip to Disney World or a theme park of your choice. Thanks again for joining me. See you guys on the next video.